All right, hey guys, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. Here we are about to take on the second gym associate in the business department of the Elite Four. Here we have an old lady. She's she's here to greet us at Walmart and stuff like that. Anyways, her first Pokemon is going to be a, if I remember, Wish Cash. So we're going to send out Tenerus first. I did also make sure to get rid of his um, one move. Yeah. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Uh, yeah, you know, it kind of keeps my entire body together. Ah, I'm Bertha! I have a preference for ground-type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Typically, the second member of the Elite Four does not have the uh, toughest of times, or is the most uh, tough, is what I meant to actually say. Anyway, she is starting off with a Wish Cash, which is part water and ground, and it's also female, so... And go ahead and do that. Anyways, what I did was take out Crunch for Stone Edge, and I used Earthquake. Oh my goodness, I used Earthquake. Of all the moves to use, I used Earthquake, but that's okay, because actually I think Razor Leaf wouldn't one-shot it anyways. But in addition to that, what I was going to say was I also took out Gust on Masquin. What the heck? Really? Wow. Anyways, I also took out, um... I didn't want to waste an Earthquake, though, because I do need Ethers. I don't have any Surfs left. So that kind of sucks, but anyways, as I was saying, I did also take out uh, Gust on Massaquin for one move, Toxic. Which is funny because everyone can learn Toxic. Literally everyone in my party can learn Toxic. It's just like, for some reason they can come to some weird conclusion that, hey, if we vomit enough, we can all understand that it's okay to puke on people, I guess. I... I am not the most knowledgeable in that department, however that is the time for Hiermore, the janitor, to clean up whenever is asked. That's okay. Uh, Ice Beam. Show him the Ice Beam. I do have Ice Shard as well, just in case. I don't think this should one-shot me. Gliscor is a really cool Pokemon. It's like that Vampiro Pokemon that's also part, uh, it's part ground and flying, which is quite a cool... Thing, but is four times effective to ice, which means that he's going to be taken down. He's also more of a defensive Pokemon, not a special defensive Pokemon, so that sort of sucks. But that's okay because Parsnip has now grown to level 43 and wants to learn Ice Fang, but that's okay because I don't want that because she has a lot more heat. Um, no, no, that's it. We're saying we're calling Parsnip a girl because it just looks so much more feminine. Anyways, Golem is next. Uh, I don't know what to do, because uh, Masquin doesn't have Surf anymore. Uh, Parsnip should be faster. I think so. If, if she's not, I will be quite saddened by that fact. Ice Beam, yes! You are faster, please take it down! I love how it's just smooth Ice Beam looks, like this tiny little precise line that targets your weak spot and does not actually take you down, but you have Fire Punch! I should have just sent in Torterra. I don't know why I didn't do that. That's okay. Sorry, Parsnip. Excuse me. Alright, let's see here. Tenaruz. Shouldn't be taken down. Usually Fire Punch, like... Usually, like, elemental move or, like, moves that just in general are not, like, good on a Pokemon just don't do that much damage, especially since Golem doesn't have the highest attack, so this Razor Leaf won't take him down, I don't think, because he does have pretty high defense, but is four times effective, and yeah, as I was right, it's okay. This Sandstorm did subside, but Tenerus was in, so he didn't get hit by it regardless, because it doesn't affect ground, rock, and I don't think steel Pokemon either. They're immune to the Sandstorm. Yes, all right, next up is Rhyperior. Uh, yeah, again, sort of sucks. Um, really high defense, so... Really? Oh, you also have Mega Horn. All right, solid, 10 out of 10. Would actually review that on a review card and possibly put it into my banking account. But that's okay, because now we can send in Massaquin to show them you're a female. I just want to point this out here. Rhyperior here is a female. Who, what, when, where, why, 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 why? That's the one I'm looking for, is why. I don't have any surfs, by the way, but his special defense isn't the highest, so... Man, if I had surf, if I had surf, that would have been quite grand. 
Quite grand indeed. Mesquin should be able to take one earthquake. Come on, you, you can do it. I believe I believe in you. Da, 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 da. That's unfortunate. No, you're faster than him. Shinteru is not going to do anything, so I'm sorry, but I'll have to send him in and then revive Masakuin. Please. Oh my goodness. If I had misclicked that, I would have been so sad. Yes, I did buy all of those, which is quite great. Here we go. We have Masakuin revived. That's okay. That is okay indeed. I don't know who else is on her team, actually. It's like Rhyperior. I don't think she has a Steelix. She likes ground types, and Steelix isn't actually ground, so... Let's go ahead and send in Massaquin. Yes! Show them your graceful and most serene period of time. In addition to that, I also have no idea what black holes are in Rhyperior's hands. Just wanted to point that out there because it is a very interesting fact here. But that's okay, because now he's taken down and we have grown to level 47. Sweet! Awesome. Awesome indeed. Next up, she's going to send out a Hippowdon. I don't know why she wouldn't lead with that, to be completely honest, because it'll put up an unlimited, uh, unlimited sandstorm until, like, something's taken out. They don't say anything. They really just don't say anything. Like, I thought she was gonna be like, This is my last stand, there's no lady or something, something to that effect. And you're confused, yes. The world has its own way of judging you with ducks. And right now, this looks like it's yours. Alright, so, you know what, once, once, um, Water Pulse runs out of PP, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, like, remove it for another water move. I think I have Brine or something. Yeah, I don't really want to do anything with that, so... Earthquake. Come on. Come on, Massaquin, you got this, don't you? Do, do you got this? I think, I think you do. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. That's okay. That's okay. Vesta can come in for the cleanup. I don't think... Powdon does actually have Thunderfang or something like that, I think. Benestyle, would you like to do the honors? Maybe, I don't know. Right. Dear child, let's assume for an instant that you've won, but I have. I just want to point that out here. I actually have won. I'm gonna use it. Oh my goodness, you have another full restore. No wonder you said that. I can't believe she actually used that. That was a really random time to do it, too. Oh, uh, there you go, Hippowdon. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you actually didn't do any damage. Okay, revive. Reviving Tenaroos. That'll be grand. That'll be a grandiose thing to do indeed. Oh, you missed. Okay, well, that's cool. Alright, I hate... Uh, the one thing I hate about weather is how long it takes to, like, get off the screen. I'm gonna revive Parsnip, too. I have to do this after the battle anyway, so I might as well just do it now. <laughs> Alright. There you go. There you go, buddy. There's a stone edge. Stone edge indeed. Anyways, finally we'll send in our good old pal, Torterra, to finish off the mood. Whoops, I keep bumping into my microphone. But that's okay, because the way that you move tonight is a wonderful, wonderful story told in Arabic languages known to man only a few what wow you do like no damage i want to point that out here just just because all right well the sandstorm rages and i think i should be good but that's okay oh my goodness you avoided it too the world please oh that sucked that that was terrible that was actually like wow hippowdon's defense must be really high all right, well, anyways. Terus was taken down by that earthquake, and I think I should be good because he'll probably miss the Stone Edge next and Parsnip can live on. Anyways, I have Creston out as well. So, hopefully one Ice Beam takes him down. I think so. I think it will. I really do think it will because his special defense probably isn't the highest. Should have just sent in Parsnip to be completely honest, but that's okay. We have defeated Agatha. Sadly, we had to beat up on... Not Agatha, Bertha. Bertha, it's her sister or something, I don't know, whatever. Well, 
Well done, dear child. I must say that was most impressive. Your Pokemon believed in you and you did your best in the wind. Okay, well, thank you. That's great. You, you're grinning. That's good. That's kind of problematic. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned this win by working as one. Yes, I just jumped inside my Pokemon and did that thing from Digimon. <laughs> I think that you can go as far as you want. Thank you, that's great. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the next room because I am creeped out by old ladies. But it's okay because anyway, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Platinum as you join me on this quest to finish the game. Maybe one day we too can come to an agreement that socks are not always used in the right location. Somewhere in, I guess, Eurasia. See you guys next time for some more Pokemon Platinum.